Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. That is JR Jackson. I am Rick Strom. It's on Whiteside in Hot Water. Here's what ESPN put out. He is fined for comments detrimental to the team, bro. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's talking about the team. Fucking bad. Not happy with that. Hey, it's a family. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna find his <laughs> ass because he's outspoken. I'm getting the I'm getting the impression that you don't agree with this. I don't. So here are the kicks that he wore over the weekend. All right. I'm going to give you the quotes in just a moment, but I think it's just awesome mm -hmm. that he had this to say mm -hmm. on his kicks, <laughs> and then he had this to say after the game. Asked how tough it was to watch from the bench, he said, it's annoying. We shouldn't. Why are we matching up? We've got one of the best centers in the league. He's talking about himself. Absolutely. He's the center. Yeah. Why are we matching up? A lot of teams don't have a good center, is what he went on to say. They're going to use their strengths. It's BS. It's really BS, man. There are a lot of teams that could use a center. F. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of them. That's BS. Yeah. Asked if he tried to discuss it with one of the coaches. He said, I don't know if it's because I'm on a minutes restriction. The minutes have been like that all year. It's really frustrating. It's been frustrating. It's tough. I don't know, man. It's crazy. I don't understand it. Well, you know, we're here to defend you. At least I am. He's been injured a lot of the season. This was against Brooklyn, who the team's gone one and four against this entire season, so they haven't even. Well, been Brooklyn at least, you know, they're competing for a championship. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's a, they're, they're competing to screw over Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they're playing. Like that's their Larry O'Brien trophy. Uh, so he's missed nine games with a hip injury. He's missed over twenty this year. What I think this is is a failure to communicate. Oh. So what we have is Hassan Whiteside being like, "Why is this happening?" Now, maybe he's talked with the Miami Heat. Maybe he's talked with Eric Spolstra. Maybe he's met with the front office and like, why am I not playing? Here's where we uh, hit the fork in the road of going right or left. Uh -huh. The league is going small. Hassan Whiteside is not small. He's very tall. He cannot match up with smaller guys <clears throat> in the association. It's just been proven. Like Kelly Olynyk's net rating has been better than Hassan Whiteside's when he's out there. Shocking. So what do you do if you're the Heat? You have a guy who's being honest. He wants to play more. It's only his second game back, but he wants to play more. Didn't play end of the third, fourth quarter, and overtime against Brooklyn. So what do you do? What should well, he do? What should he do? Both. Well, I mean, again, we don't know if he's spoken to, again, within, he's kept within the organization or not. Who knows? But if he hasn't, of course, that's step number one. Mm -hmm. But also, uh, the one thing he should do is understand, and this is what we talked about Vince Carter earlier with uh, undercutting Patrick McCall. Mm -hmm. um, you got to not talk to the media when they ask you those questions. Not that they're, again, I'm not a believer in the media. No, to, you were so listen, wrong. You're I'm so, not a, listen, let me finish. Let me finish. All right. I'm not a believer in the media is trying to drive you to this and now they're out to get you. I'm not a believer in that. There are some guys that do that. Oh, yes. 100%. Yes. But I'm not believing in a general perspective of that, right? right? But if you get a question about something that frustrates you, just keep it to yourself. Be very careful. I get it. You're emotional right now, so you do let it out. But this is a lesson to be learned. I hope the fine wasn't I, that much because maybe that's just the lesson needs to be learned. Next time they go, hey, so, man, you didn't play for the whole fourth quarter in overtime. How do you feel about that? Mm -hmm. And it could be a genuine question because if I were there, I'd probably say, hey, we're looking at the uh, numbers. You didn't play the whole fourth quarter in the overtime. Was there something wrong? You feeling okay? You just come back from injury. And then he lets go. You got to keep it to yourself because this is where the problem is. All right, belongs. firstly... I disagree with JR because here's what we need in the media. We need ammunition. <laughs> we need to talk about something. So he's giving us talking points. I'm cool with that. He's not, he doesn't work for the media. He works for the Miami Heat. Oh, but in a way, he did us a service. Yes. Yes. Did, did himself a disservice. Secondly, I feel like when this sort of stuff happens, it's a culmination of a few things, which maybe echoes my first point. He went to the Heat, in this hypothetical, he went to the Heat, Heat had him in, and they told him one thing, and then they do the other. So this is, like, that's the first warning. The second warning is him going to the media. Because I think that shows, in a way, desperation, because you want to get out of a certain situation that you're in. Do you agree with that? You think he wants out of Miami? No, no, no. He wants out of the situation that he's in of not playing. So this is, like, the second shot that he's firing. But will that work? You have to think. It remains to be seen. We don't know yet. Have you ever seen that work? Where you feel, complain to the like media, get fined, and then suddenly they go, you know what? I like your approach, Hassan. You've been talking to us. You've been trying to get to more playing time. You've been showing us what you can do coming back from injury. 
Uh, All right, let me ask you a question. Can we devalue you on Whiteside as a player? I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. No, I think he's really good. I think, I think he's think good he's, too. I think he's, uh, uh, when Miami has one of the best centers in the league. I'm not sure what his name is. He didn't point it out directly. Is he a top five center? The answer is no. Top, so Here's I mean, just five off the bat. Who I'd have over Hassan Whiteside. Cat, Embiid, Anthony Davis, Porzingis, and Boogie. There's five already, so he's not even in the top five. Well, Zingis and Boogie are out. It doesn't matter. When fully healthy, who would you rather have? But I mean, I'm just saying, he wants to play this year when these guys are not playing. He's one of the top five centers in the league and that's playing, I guess, mm-hmm. current in the roster. Will, but even then, I'll give him top seven. Will Hassan Whiteside be on the Heat next year? Yes. I'm going to go with a hard no. I'm going to say Pat Riley, he don't mess him around. Mm-mm. None whatsoever. He wants you to kiss the hand. Right, but the, I feel like he doesn't want you to slap it. Yeah. We'll see. We'll, depending on what we won't see, being mm-hmm. the reaction behind the scenes to this fine and this bit of a rift. Mm-hmm. If he chills out, then sure. If he doesn't, if, maybe he'll be out of here. If. That's something we won't know, but mm-hmm. we'll see. Two years remaining on his contract. Where does he go? Let us know. YouTube.com slash TYT Sports.